Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Okay, so for today's video, we've decided to do solving your dilemma. So we've just basically asked on Instagram from both our pages for you lot to send in any issues or dilemmas you may have. You've probably seen this video so many times before. Okay, so <clears throat> the first dilemma, I don't even know if this is a dilemma. The person said, I can't study well because of my boyfriend's plural. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Get rid of them. Exactly. Simple, it's very simple. <laughs> Firstly, I don't know why you have plural, multiple Boy, unless she means like a guy click. No, I don't think so. I think she don't like means actual boyfriends. Then yeah, player. So second dilemma is, I want to become a more easygoing and outgoing person, but I feel like I'm too awkward. Any tips? Fats, do you have any tips for them? I do. Because you're quite outgoing. I'll be honest with you, like. I would say she don't change yourself. Continue being awkward and your tribe is gonna come to you. Your people that you're meant to mesh with are gonna come to you. And like, yeah, maybe you just, like maybe that's not you, so don't force it. Unless you've got confident issues and you're shy, like you're shy because of that. But if you're just genuinely in your natural state, someone who's quiet, I don't think that's a problem. That shouldn't be an issue. And don't let anyone make you feel like it's an issue. But if you wanna change yourself, yeah, ask yourself why. Yeah, because sometimes change is good and sometimes it's necessary. So if you're, say you're like, awkwardness and your shyness is causing you causing you to have like detrimental effects on certain aspects of your life then i would suggest you try to change that is it yeah so like if it's stopping her from i don't know getting certain opportunities or like oh, of course connecting with certain people i don't know so i would yeah i would recommend and if like in job interviews and stuff like that it's completely different. you have to put on a persona like everyone what tips are we going to give her um figure out why you want to change being your best self then fix that no and i'm awkward no yeah no and you said you're awkward babe i'm awkward too i'm so awkward and not everyone gets me like you know, I'm, no one gets her <laughs> no like, some people like aisha gets me or like obviously i have like friends <laughs> None, but yeah, like people still tell me I'm awkward, and uh, like that's cool. Like you know, you know, not everyone's gonna, you're not gonna get along with everyone. You're not meant to be everyone's friend, and like the people who I feel like are my life now, they deserve to be my life, and they get me. There you go. Like, but I didn't change myself. So when your sister doesn't talk to you for for almost a year for a trivial reason, um, that's quite unfortunate, and that's really sad actually. Especially if it was for a trivial reason. Um, mm. I'm assuming you've spoken to her already or tried to communicate with her. If you haven't, then I would advise you to do that firstly. Mm. If that still doesn't work, maybe try to get like a mediator involved. Get like one of your parents. <laughs> or if you have another sibling. Or if okay. you have a friend, like a mutual friend. Um, and if mm. she still doesn't want to talk... Then like... Then gotta yeah. let it go. I'm joking, no, you can't. I'm not going like, to break ties with family members, especially if they're your siblings. I personally think is terrible unless they've done something mad but you said trivial reason so yeah. I feel like you can both get over this I can kind of relate when you say trivial because <coughs> I'm not going to mention what sibling or it might not even be related to me whatever anyway <laughs> but like I'm someone that doesn't care care like if especially because it's trivial I'm just like okay like you want to be a little child go be a little child like I'm gonna sit here wait sip my coffee you know get on with my life watch my films whatever when you're ready to be like mm. she's gonna come to you one it's day been, like do yeah. you know what I mean uh, yeah it's not been like two three days it's been a whole they have a whole lifetime babes yeah no like, not necessarily one of them could die one of them could move away one of them could I, like guys, my bro me one of my brothers we didn't chat for like a couple of years because probably because I stitch on him when I was a little child and it's like grow up but like, fix up now like you know people are comments that like babe maybe she's maybe. a child <laughs> potentially you may think it's a trivial reason but in her eyes it was something really serious and severe maybe because mm. you've never discussed it or you haven't like apologized for it so like, what she said is more wise ignore me no I don't know this I'm just trying no. to see where her mindsets are True. potentially that could be the issue guys it seems like there's a recurring theme um of just you love just love to talk about boys <laughs> so we'll just answer some of them for you because you know these are your dilemmas and we want to help <laughs> okay oh I love this guy but I don't know if my parents will let me get married to him due to his ethnicity I'm sure that this is a very common thing amongst many ethnic minority households this whole like ethnicity boundary barrier 
Um, firstly, how old are you? You seem quite young. I don't know why you want to get married now. <laughs> Maybe concentrate on like other more important things. No, don't be saying marriage. Is, look, it's important. Okay, yes, 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 no, like, okay so, so <clears throat> what you do, okay, if if you're genuinely 100% sure this is the person you want to be with and he's worthy of your whatever <laughs> then you just got to convince your parents and i'm sure they'll come around eventually might take a few months might take a few years but eventually they'll come around yeah okay do you know i agree with Aisha, but like if i'm i don't know if you're like me but if my parents said no then i don't think i could ever go ahead with it but yeah like, i definitely no would first, persuade them but then you keep trying keep trying keep trying but then this is a thing can you get married without your dad's blessing no in, in a slot so would you be committed in a thin if you're no, no, that's what i'm saying you keep convinced you keep trying trying oh trying. but then let's say no they say no yeah you that keep it, trying then? no you keep trying listen some parents just they have something against one particular race it's a no babe keep trying what how you keep when? trying and eventually they'll give in because they will realize they'll realize in the long term that losing a whole daughter or like making they're, they're, no, they're not thinking really they're gonna lose a daughter they're thinking that the man's not worthy for my daughter no but the, she's saying her mom's not gonna like let's say her mom don't come around uh-huh then you elope <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking um you just made that up yeah and i can't really advise you what i'd do then because i don't i can't imagine myself like but then i can't imagine my parents saying no to some in a way i can but then in a way i can't if i really sat down if you got my islamic to, points out got maybe, a involved. yeah maybe get a shirk involved and the shirk like, can tell them that i'm so sorry but your ethnic differences and your ethnic discriminations are not enough for you to not let your daughter marry this man exactly because it's really not acceptable guys mm. we're in 2021 and it's yeah, but you. But oh, do you know what's sad? Imagine your parents still say no. That's so sad. Yeah, you need to. You need to speak to a chef when it gets to that point. So I used to be really close to my family, especially my dad, and I don't know what happened, but I miss him. Okay, that is sad. Like, do you, do you still live? Do you guys all live in the same household? Um, or like, is it just because now, like, as in, like, you live in the same household, but you don't communicate? Do you, do you get what I, I, mean? I think they probably just drifted as a family. They probably just all drifted. Obviously, the advice depends on. Yeah, it depends the on the circumstances. Yeah. But we don't know. We just have to assume. So we're gonna assume that like nothing's that changed happens. in terms of living. So they all just together. naturally drifted for mm -hmm. for X Y Z reasons. I feel like love takes effort and blah 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 blah. So be the first to initiate. Like, yeah, like sometimes I miss my dad. Like I love my dad. Like whatever. And I know he loves me, but sometimes I just have to go up to him and give him a hug and be like, blah blah. <laughs> She goes, she's like, Baba, I miss you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then we she hug each other. You sound like you're going to cry. <laughs> Baba. <laughs> I don't know why I hesitated. That and then, cool. like, oh, but obviously it's very different for different, like, families and circumstances. But, yeah, like, we have drifted apart mainly because we're all, like, we all have jobs now. So, yeah, I would just say, like, are you putting in the effort? Are you too... And if you feel like, because you're the child and your parents are the one that's meant to take the first step, like... Mm. If you're an adult, if you're past 16, then I would just say to you, you take the first step. Like, if you're... Maybe they don't know that anything's changed, you know what I mean? Maybe maybe they're too busy worrying about their mortgage, paying rent. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, what would you say? Yeah, so I would advise you to potentially initiate some type of family bonding sessions. So maybe once a week, have, like, a games night or have, like, a movie night mm -hmm. or have, like, a... Go on, like, a walk together and make it, like, a routine -y thing. And then slowly, 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 you can build that bond back. And you said, you said like used to be close to your family in general so mm. maybe you want to get the closeness in particular talking about your dad but yeah to like just reunite the whole family maybe like write a cute letter to them all make a family group child whatsapp and communicate there and then take it into real life so that, that don't work in my house it works in my, well, it's, it's just me my. and my mum talking on it oh that's so rude so next dilemma is both of your friends are arguing but you don't want to take one person's side one gets offended okay so basically she's saying that what does she do in a situation where two of her close friends are arguing but yeah. if she takes one side then the other's gonna get offended naturally okay what i would do if there's a clear right and wrong i'm not gonna lie you kind of have to take sides but you don't take sides in the sense that oh my god you're so stupid you're so dumb like to the other girl mm. you do it in a very civil very like very nice way um that's only if there's a, like a clear distinct someone's right someone's wrong if yeah. it's like a very gray area and it's very subjective then i would say just take a step back and let them sort it out mm. if you're adults then you mediate you don't necessarily need to take sides but like i understand if it's in a school playground where like let's say you were a clique and it's like 
they're just like, come, come. Do you know what I mean? Then yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. I feel like I'm not getting the vibe that it's like that. You're not getting knows? that kind of vibe. No. But if it's not that kind of vibe, just mediate. And yeah, correct. Pattern up. Who's wrong anyway? Mm. It's not. It's nothing to do with size. There's a way to do everything, guys. So make sure you're just doing it in the correct way. Mm. So neither of them gets offended. Yeah. That's if there's a clear right and wrong. If there's not a clear right and wrong, then you're not involved. It's not really a dilemma, but is it fine that I'm 19 and still single and never had a boyfriend before? Yes. You don't need to just live your lives, honestly. I'm 23, okay? A man never touched me, okay? <laughs> never had a boyfriend in my life, no joke. <laughs> They're extreme. You're not joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not joking, okay? But like, what I mean is, it's okay. Like, live, like, as in... But we weren't made number one to be wives and have partners and be in relationships, okay? Anywhere. We weren't. We were made to first and foremost worship God. God created us in pairs. God created us in pairs, that's true. No, but then so we you, kind of were made to actually no. have a partner first, I can't lie. But, but that doesn't mean that are married yeah, and they're above a certain age. I'm guys, not laughing. the issue is, yeah, we all assume, we just have this, we just have yeah. this perception that we're going to be married. And that no, no. God plans, not you. Sit down. As in, I'm not going to lie, guys. Some of us could end up single for the rest of our lives. That's true. It could be me. Could be her. Exactly. Oh, that's true. Probably me. But, <laughs> um, and it's, it's not the be all or end all. Exactly. You need to find worth and like um what's the word in other things and like other people and you're like yeah, yeah. it's not and babe deep. you said you're 19 like you're 19 can you calm down have, guys you know how oh listen like, just live your best life yeah no but she's you know she's 19, she's 19. Th these are your i promise you from the ages of 19 to like 22 are going to be some of the best years of your life so just okay. just enjoy it yeah okay guys this one's really deep it says my crush is getting married to my best friend and i can't bear it ouch you know <laughs> Go on. Um, you can't really do anything. I'm not gonna lie. There's really nothing. There's not much you can do. Yeah. Maybe just don't attend the wedding mm. if it's gonna be that hurtful. Exactly. Firstly, did your friend know that that's your crush? You must have kept that really on the down low if your friend didn't know that was your crush and she's getting married to him. Do you know what I mean? So it must have been a very, it must have been a very secretive. Number one. It wasn't meant to be because he's not marrying you so it wasn't even meant to be like it's not in your books it's not in your plan i know you can't help your feeling but there's not time to be selfish you'll get over it eventually and you'll exactly. be able to like chill with them calmly and like not be awkward exactly you just gotta stuck it up maybe tell your friends as well do you know no okay no she, not wait what no she's getting married to my today that, that's a whole bombshell like right before no that's yeah so my man is cheating on me but he doesn't know that i know i don't know i'm laughing that's not funny <laughs> no that's quite all right like, it, wait, again. so my man is cheating on me but he doesn't know that i know i would confront him you hundred percent i'll pack my bag without saying a word and just me but like you don't need to know Okay, yeah, if you if you 100% know yeah. and you have the concrete evidence and you don't need any kind of confirmation, just you me. feel like you don't need closure, you feel like you don't want an explanation, mm. you're just sick, you're just sick, you feel sick. Like, are you then, dumb? Yeah, don't disrespect me, exactly. Mm -hmm. Pack your bag and leave. You don't deserve confrontation, explanation. Isn't it? He's going to be... Yeah. No, no, no. That's ridiculous. Oh. Okay, so trying to keep positive, but lockdown is really bringing down my vibes. Any suggestions? I feel you. I no, I actually really feel you, and it's weird because in the previous lockdowns, I didn't really feel like this, but this particular third lockdown is is, is hit differently, and I think everyone can kind of relate. I would suggest you try and stay active as possible, try and like leave your house as much as possible as often as you can within government guidelines. Mm -hmm. um, try and interact with other people who aren't just in your household because you'll go mad if you're just talking and seeing the same people day in day out day in day out so whether that be on facetime whether that be like across the road like social distancing <laughs> yeah. we're, not, yeah. we're not meant to be together Shh. no um, when we get comments like that it stresses me out do we yeah we live together oh me and france live together by the way if she moved in know. for the final lockdown if you didn't oh. know yeah <laughs> <laughs> our house basically became a hotel um, a hotel slash orphanage slash foster <laughs> care system whatever no anyways no sorry let's carry on with the advice so yeah just keep active try and see people who aren't just your um people in your household as long as you're following government guidelines mm. um find things to occupy your time that are productive and not just watching netflix yeah. so whether that be if you have a job um extra like 
for example joining course online courses mm. um doing some type of fitness activities just something productive and useful that's gonna like make you feel like you've done something with your day and not just waste yeah. it I feel like, do you know what do you know that saying boredom is death like boredom causes death so for me like my, how i cope is i literally just keep myself busy and sometimes i get like what's what's that a burnout <clears throat> yeah, so like i had one last week these last two weeks it lasted two weeks it lasted two weeks wow. yeah it lasted two, like you know when you just can't you just need anything. to chill yeah because you just yeah you but then that, work yourself yeah but that's how i that's how i am like i work mm. in cycles so i know me but yeah i don't know if that was helpful like my tip would be keep yourself really really busy that you don't have time to be bored do you know what i mean mm. so yeah yeah i think boredom's really bad it's really yeah. scary scary feeling like i've got to squeeze everything in before i'm 30 and need to settle down yeah, babe, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Do you feel her? I feel her. I feel her. <laughs> but when I actually stopped, like, actually, like, trying to live this out, was when I failed, when I thought I basically I missed my last uni exam. So, aka, I equated that to thinking I didn't make it through uni. Because obviously, if, I, if you don't do the exam, then it's not a, like it's a whole module. Guys, like, so hold up here. Yeah. So, imagine <laughs> it was the day before her, her, her final exam, and she messages me saying, <laughs> What did you message me? Like, oh, we have an exam on the same day. What did you message me about? I think so. Basically, do you know I was just so stressed? I just looked on my exam, exam timetable once. It wasn't stuck anywhere. I didn't write the dates out. She looked at it once, guys. Deep, this her whole final year of university. She I was just so stressed. Oh my god. Anyway, and then do you know what really pisses me off? Is that she told me when her exam was and she still didn't no, attend. No, that's not what pisses me off. What oh my god, no, 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 what pisses me off? She was there on the morning of her exam, guys. She was at university in the exam area, location. I was doing it all night in uni that year. And then I leave, I leave at like, I think I left uni at like 10 and that's when my exam was starting, so... Oh, I went home. No Anyways, yeah, but alhamdulillah, like, you know, your man's still graduated, do you know what I mean? And obviously, just to explain, I feel like... For, for people who know me, you're probably thinking how, it's because obviously because I'd done um, an extra year, because I changed, because I was doing Arabic and I changed my course, I still had that one history module, so it all worked out, alhamdulillah. Anyway, that's when I realised, so this is back to the dilemma, obviously in that moment I was like, shit, I failed, like I'm a failure, like I was really like sad, you know, I was like, I'm one, I, it's not even I was one year behind, like my mum, I'll be on, like, not in a bad way, but she's like, okay, you've already changed your degree, and we're assuming that during new time that i'm gonna do it extra year so it's like you're already two years behind mm. and that's when i was like i don't really care so what so what if i'm two years behind i don't really mind like do you it's know what not I mean? two years what are you two years behind she's exactly just comparing it to the standard. to everyone else she's to, compared to like what the norm is but that's yeah. not necessarily what it should be so exactly so not in not in, not in like a negative way but obviously then i was like I, i'm not in a rush like what does that even mean i'm gonna go into employment i can go into employment five years from now like mm. to, the next two years from now it's that's when I let it go. I was having this exact discussion with my friend like last week um, about how there's this just, it's not even a, I would, it's a societal pressure, but it's also a pressure from oneself. It's like an internal so? pressure. For me personally, it's more of an internal pressure rather than, no, it's like my family aren't putting this pressure on me, my friends aren't putting this pressure on me. Society is subconsciously pushing this like narrative on you, mm. but it's mainly for myself. So like, okay. It's like, on. you see, I see 30 as it's like, as this like milestone and if certain things aren't done by that like, age it's like you example. failed if you're not married if you don't have a stable career solid job if you don't even potentially have one child by that age it's just like Jeez. it's like did i do it wrong did I, do you know what i mean but obviously now i'm shifting yeah. my mind because our generation especially um things like marriage things like children things like careers that mm. all it's all shifting and it's all getting it's becoming like we're developing these things a lot later on in our lives so slowly slowly it's like I'm understanding that I am exactly where I need to be. Yeah. If you know what I mean. And I feel like people not... are more conscious of like, you know that whole like, you're in your own lane, don't compare yourself. I yeah. don't know if that's, I see that a lot. I'm of not even media, comparing but... myself necessarily, it's just... Yeah, it's no, just... but then why would you think you need to be married, have this, have that, because have that? You what? Just, I don't know, because... Where did you, you get that? I don't know, it's like, I've just always thought, by 30, it's not like, it's just always been floating around in my head, by 30, I want to have X, Y, and Z done. But and it then, must have come from somewhere. Yeah, just like... Everyone around you. Yeah, just it's I guess norm. just okay. society. It was just it's just the norm. But now it's not the norm because people aren't getting married at young ages. People aren't having children. True. Their first child's always like like not always, but a lot of the time is going to be after they're thirty. People's careers aren't going to be stable. Aren't going to be consolidated until 
their mid 30s potentially mm. so yeah just just go with the flow go with the flow as long as you have some type of plan and you're actively working towards your goals or towards whatever you want to mm. be doing the flow is not just oh i'm gonna let god do the work like guys it's really mm. funny but this is like this is so cute someone's someone's consistently asked about removing body hair slash removing <laughs> arm hair slash why do i have so uh, much hair babes is so easy you can either wax you can get lazy you can shave mm. you can hair remove i would suggest where that is just to get by yourself you don't need to go out and get it done because it's super expensive get yourself a laser hair removal machine and do it yourself yeah do those do those work they do um um do they, they? Do. yeah my friend's doing one she sent me the link i'm, I'm gonna try <laughs> and get it but yeah like it works and it, it gets rid of scars as well i think yeah perfect do that they so do, do that, that and you're gonna be hair well you're gonna be less hairy if that's your i don't know you're asking about also, hair listen it's not guys hair's not that deep remove it though because I Number one, that's a sauna as well. Like you're meant to remove it every four yeah, days. Yeah, you don't remove your hair, please. Even if you're meant. Oh my god, do you know? Well, do you not know pisses me off. Men that don't remove their hair. Men that don't remove their hair. Why do they think? Why, why do does every guy? Why do you guys think it's impossible for them to have armpit hair and like <laughs> other hair in every position just, to have hair? They're just bored with it. Like I'm like, huh, like no, please. but no. Do you know what pisses me? Oh, off? This is a whole different subject. Okay, but it's like, okay, not even from it. Like, from it's like perspective, men also need to remove their pubic hair. As well as women, mm. but they don't. But, but then also, just from a societal perspective, oh, men. remove your pubic hair. Like, what are you doing? But how do you know about anyone's pubic hair? Your, no, but <laughs> your, your pubic hair is also your arm. Your arm. Oh. Oh, it's a joke. Oh, flipping arm. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I'm like, huh? But yeah, just remove it, please. Like, exactly. Exactly. It doesn't make you more manly if you have armpit hair. It's just yeah. disgusting. But I don't think I don't think it's disgusting. Chill. It's less okay. No, it's like even when women have it, like no, that's you, know what facts, you know this whole like this whole movement of. Um, have you seen the girls having their armpits? I love I it. Saw Nike, I mean, Nike did a whole no. advert, a whole um, campaign. Yeah. With girls just with bare hairy armpits in posing like in Nike. Babe, do you know why I can't get it? Because some of my friends are part of that movement. I could personally could never be me. Like, not, it's okay, just, I'm doing it personally because my personal beliefs and my religious beliefs. You need to, like, you find it to be more clean. Yeah, I just find it more hygienic. Mm. But obviously, if you want to do you and that really makes you happy, then... Exactly. You do you and we do me. We do us. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap up the video. Mm -hmm. I hope we provided some beneficial advice. I don't yeah. know if we just waffled, <laughs> if it was actually useful. Lord. If you also have anything you want to advise these people just write in the comments and hopefully mm. they can read it and get some outsiders opinions so make sure you guys like comment subscribe oh my god i always feel moist when we do this bit i don't know why but why? it's like because it's like just do it man do you know what i mean do i have to say it you do. do we have to say it i think so you have to say it guys like oh. comment subscribe thank you very much we really appreciate it see you in the next video Bye.